Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made them Not everything they used to look at me Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through Now you hit your face And you look at me Look at me What's good with y'all? All right, so what are we getting into today? As far as today goes, man, it is actually already dark outside. It's night 30, but we're gonna be heading inside. We're gonna be going to race. If you guys seen when we kind of did the little assembly or mock-up, I should say, on the twin turbo motor that's gonna be going in the wide body six four outside, it ended up having a little issue with the turbos because they were pretty much a forward facing and a reverse rotation. But what I didn't know was the manifolds themselves weren't uh, symmetrical. So what ended up happening was it was actually pushing the forward facing turbo further away from the valve cover. So now I have the new turbo inside. Uh, it is a forward or yes, yeah, a forward forward facing turbo. So they're pretty much the same turbo, but it should make everything symmetrical to where both turbos kind of sit over the valve covers. So today we're gonna be going out there. We're gonna be finishing mocking this stuff up. I got some parts in here for the G that I gotta take to Aaron. So got a little running around to do, but we're also gonna be testing this and seeing and making sure everything is good before the final assembly goes down with the twin turbo LS3. So with all that being said, man, let me go in here, show you guys the parts, gather the parts, and then jump on the road. I can hear it from out here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's Miss Rachel playing all in my house. Baby right here. Pasta monster! Whoop! Pasta monster! Kaya! Pasta monster! Hey, baby! Look at that, the pasta monster! The pasta monster! Let's put it on the board! Put it on, put it on, put it on! What? Thought I was about to fire on you? Thought I was about to. Ah. All right, let me turn this down real quick. What's this one? Do you know what it is? So I ain't trying to get hit with a copyright by Miss Rachel. There you go. Ah, give me them boogers. Give me them boogers. Give them here. That's my nose. Ain't that what you be doing to me? Yeah. Yeah, you do. This is my nose. You be pulling my nose, actually. You be like, ain't this my nose? Ain't this my nose right here? Ain't this my nose? No. Ain't this my forehead? No. Hi, right, so parts on parts. What is this? This is swang stain parts. This is actually the bell housing for the uh, TKX transmission. All right, so this is the 112 throttle body that's gonna be going on the LS3 the G35 right here. This thing is huge, bro. Like gargantuan. But previously they had sent me the wrong freaking connector. So they sent me a LT, uh, LT style throttle body, which I didn't order. I ordered this one. I literally ordered it again with the exact same part number and it finally sent it with the right number. So I'm gonna put the other one in this box, send that thing back. Also got a little harness extension because I think this may possibly run into the tensioner or one of the cooling lines on the LSG setup since it has the funky uh, accessory brackets to work with all the the 350z slash g power steering and alternator ac all that stuff so uh, we're gonna try this maybe i might have to flip it but this is the correct one we need and just in case i got the extension harness for us all right so this is the new turbo and that's gonna be going on there literally the exact same size same setup bill of will <laughs> exact same thing as what was on there just a uh, forward forward rotation setup and then these right here these are for the c6 actually new hinges because mine for some reason decided not to want to lock and then we are going to be doing some arp studs currently has arp bolts but i'm thinking the reason why the c6 is having issues is because i probably blew the head gasket so we're going to be studding this thing and yeah, should be able to uh, make more sauce. I'm not gonna give y'all too much details on the changes that are coming to the C6, but there are a lot of changes coming. All 
All right, man, just pulling up to our boy White Aaron's right now. Got the box. Look, they're all in the Christmas spirit. They got little tri like little lights up. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> What's good, fool? You just need just this, right? Yep. Nothing else. Right, big dog in here. The new one with the oh nice the right sensor and the, the jumper or the extension harness. Yeah. That so looks more like it. literally same part number. Yeah. They just sent me the wrong one. That way y'all can see LT style, LS3 style. You want me to? I should try them out for this. One. I mean, either way. I'm just afraid that in here. The pump. Well, it's this pulley is I'm, what I'm more. Yeah. So I think if I do it this way, it should be fine. Well, the only thing I'm concerned with is steam that. port. If it's just a steam port, that's easy though. That could be relocated. They make kits for the steam port. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I'll do it regular and see if it hits. It's four bolts. Look how big this throttle body is in relation to Aaron's little ass hands. Yeah. I mean, okay. space in there. What's that saying? She loose like throwing a hot dog down the hallway. <laughs> this is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, man, this ain't working. Yeah. Just show me what that mouth do, though. <laughs> All right, so we left Aaron's probably about an hour ago, and now we are currently at our boy Ray's. This is another front cover. I had Jay paint the other cover, and then Friggin' it had stress cracks in it that I didn't even pay attention to or look. So ITB Billet sent me a, another one. This one seems to be good. No stress cracks on this thing, but it ain't painted. Look good. What's up, blood? Yeah. Valve covers. The new skis. Hopefully these ones are gonna work. If not, I can't return them. Cool. I had bongs welded on them. Ooh. Damn, these are kind of tall. No, they short. Really? It says stock height. No, these look taller. Bro, they supposed to send stock height. Bro, these look taller. Well, let's pop one of these things off of here. We're going to learn today. All right, so this is what I was talking about. So you see how this manifold has a straight flange, and then this one literally has about a 45 or something. I have no clue why they didn't make this one straight like this one, because then it would have been so easy to get a symmetrical turbo setup on here. I hope these valve covers work, bro. I'm th this will be like my second set that I can't use. These are tall. Bro, they're supposed to be stock height. You don't have no stock ones here to compare them to, huh? Uh, those are stock. I'll put LFA. See? Nah, these are the same height. Sure. Positive. Yeah, hold up. These might be shorter, actually. Yeah, see? Same height. Side profile. <laughs> That's why you need power tools here. I know. Got a <laughs> nigga struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's gonna work. Have faith. <laughs> I don't want to look. Bro, it was the top that was hitting, huh? I think it was the top. Look. It's a little shorter. Bro, let's let's here. Let's try that thing. This one should have been back here. Nah, look in the inside. Look at the casting. That's why we did it that way. Oh. That nipple thing. So you got one in the front, one in the back. Nope. Man, yes. Yes, hold on. Hold up. You have no faith. Oh, Bro. ye of little faith. How is this one having more trouble and it's supposed to be shorter and the other one came off easy? This other one sloped. Look at that. What you saying, bruh? You gotta remove a uh, turbo and flash to do valve cover gaskets. Bro, the, them <laughs> gaskets are probably gonna get cooked. Like, we don't even know how. Bro, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Are you serious? Oh, oh, nigga, it's gonna work. That's gonna work. Valve cover gonna be hot than a muff, though. 
All right, baby, so there we go. Now y'all can see both turbos are over the valve cover. It's still gonna mess with my OCD a little bit because I know for sure they're not symmetrical, but there's nothing I can do about that. Literally comes down to flange design. So you can see this turbo faces that way. This one faces the exact same way, which kind of sucks, but I mean, I think Hoonicorn's like this. I think this is how they had the Hoonicorn. One was up, other one was down, but I'm gonna probably do it as close as I can this way. Right here, when you rotate this one that way, it hits the fucking valve cover. So this one's gonna have to be a little funky. It's gonna be like that. That's why I really want to do the mirror turbos, because then they will both, one would face this direction, the other one face that direction, but somebody was saying, oh, swap the exhaust housing. The thing is, you can't swap the exhaust housing on a front facing and on a reverse mount or a reverse rotation because the blade design also changes so if you look here it's basically made to spin this way that way it pushes air through so if i would have swapped just the exhaust housing the fucking housing would have been backwards it would have been wanting to it would want to go this way but then the housing would have been going this way so it wouldn't have worked that way that's why you have the option for a reverse rotation or forward rotation when it comes to the turbo setups depending on your application so don't think you can just swap the housings because that shit ain't gonna work <laughs> but i mean this would technically this would work it is a little tight over here on the exhaust side but i've been trying to talk to the people at funk and i'm gonna pretty much run their uh turbo blanket on here it's gonna be a mission to smush that thing in here but we think it'll fit this is how it's gonna be still gotta loosen up the the back section right here uh, clock this that way the feeds up top returns at the bottom so that's easy though because the back section is on a v-band and then that new cover right here that's going to be going right up in here but what we're going to probably have to do is either change the accessory drive which i kind of don't want to do because i already have the ati balancer and everything on here so um maybe once we get the front cover on we'll see what the clearance is looking like and then we'll probably just have to take some material out of this bracket right here because the returns gonna pretty much come also down the valve cover. So it's gonna be close, man, trying to make this all fit. But I think it'll be I think it'll be fine. A mission for sure, just because the clearance right here is all a little funky. So this might have to be like a maybe a 45 or something. Just enough to where return could actually fit between the turbo housing that we can get it to go down this way. The other option would be to run the return down here through the backside and then back into the oil pan if we can't get it to go to the front cover. But if all goes as planned, the easiest option would just be to cut the shit out of here. Cause you can see that that bracket's hella thick. So I think we can take some material out, but it also has the, the um, crank sensor right here with the wiring and stuff. Dipstick. Um... <laughs> <laughs> have to figure that out too. Well, we'll figure that out. Hang that thing off the back back here like this. Mm -hmm. It'll look like a trans a tra a trans dipstick. I'm not a fan of these valve covers. Like I didn't want them, but these were the only options. This fool Ray wants to take the he wants to take this valve cover off. He wants to try the BTR valve cover back on, but he wants to try it with the new uh, forward facing turbo because I think last time we had a reverse rotation and re the reverse rotation didn't fit All right other valve cover swap back on I prefer to run these anyway. I think these look better mm -hmm. It'll be easier to get the ANs on the back mm -hmm. Take the bolt out The bolt? Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be easier to get that shit on. You sure? Yep. Here, we'll put this down And that is a fail right there, sir Shit doesn't even sit Oh, other valve covers it is. All right, swap that one back on. And then I'll take these with me. Maybe I'll put them on the LSG because the rear coil packs are hella cl uh, close to the firewall. So it'll set the coils in the middle. I thought you uh, already did uh, valve covers on that door. I do, I have the, uh, the right? I have the Holly valve covers on here, but the rear coil pack is hella pushed against the firewall on the G. So these will work perfect on on that car because then it'll put the coil packs right here in the middle so we'll probably end up swapping those plus i gotta do the um the trunion upgrade on there because it has the stock the stock uh, rockers so y'all can kind of see loosened up the back section that way we can kind of rotate the center section and get it where it's going to be needing to go it's going to be the feed side 
Uh, these guys right here are the water inlets, but I'm probably not gonna run the water inlets. I don't usually run the water inlets on my ball bearing turbos. I know some of y'all like, oh, like, I've never had an issue. I've done it for years on all my ball bearing turbos and never had an issue when I didn't run the water lines. All right, so these are the Turbo Smart wastegates that are gonna be going on here. See, it got springs in there, but currently has uh, 14 pound springs in the two gates. Just sit these up here, kind of get an idea on, you know, placement and all that. Firing ring should be in here. All right, so a little issue right here is y'all can see the V-Man clamp actually hits the freaking manifold. Plus, they actually, on their kit that they advertise, they want you to run the Turbo Smarts. Here we are with the Turbo Smarts, and gotta be kidding me. This sucks. That's for the dump tube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not letting it sit flat. The other one has no issue. And they probably gave you a longer, longer stump on the other side. Yeah, the other side is a longer, longer stump. It's definitely looking like we're gonna have a few issues that we're gonna be having to sort out with this thing. It honestly probably just got a little too hot or something and then warped upward, because it's like a smudge it off. Hi, right, my peeps, what's good? I am back at the hut. So yeah, man, let me just say that I'm definitely starting to get, you know, a little bit frustrated with this twin turbo setup. Uh, more so the fitment, man. Um, I have no clue. Only thing I could think of on why they would possibly angle the flange is I think that they're offering it as a universal exhaust manifold kit, but I'm pretty sure I've seen similar style exhaust manifolds that go on the 5th gen Camaro. So I'm thinking that this is probably 5th gen turbo manifolds that are just being offered. I don't know if it's needed a 45 to clear shock towers on the 5th gens or what, but it would make no sense to really add a 45 degree angle when, you know, like I said, the, just the symmetrical standpoint of it would just be, you know, straight up and down with uh, front facing and uh, reverse rotation turbos. It, it, that would just make the most, that would make the most sense unless it was just a clearance thing for as production for the car that it was built on and then offered as a universal kit. But uh, yeah, man, I'm definitely getting a little frustrated on that. It's just more so the fitness, the, but I'm possibly thinking I may have a Ray just, uh, do the ARP head studs like we're planning on doing because it currently has bolts and I want, want the bolts swapped out for the head studs just because I think this thing's gonna make a lot of torque and more power than what uh, what I'm thinking it's gonna make just on the, the combo alone and you know, I think it's gonna make crazy torque. But, um, you know, Ray's like 40, 45 minutes away from me or so, so I'm thinking I might have him once he finishes up that. So I may just bring the LS3 back home and I think I want to do the turbo stuff probably here in my garage. Uh, when it comes to everybody in my circle, honestly, I'm the most familiar with turbo stuff. D doesn't really do anything turbo related. Uh, Ray's more of a supercharged dude. So, um, you know, even when you go to Saxby shop, they don't really do a lot of uh, turbo stuff over there. It's kind of like supercharged applications or NA builds. But, um, you know, I'm very familiar with turbo combos. I kind of wanted to just, I was going to have Ray, you know, do the assembling stuff. but. Again, he's 45 minutes away from me, so having to go back and then forth and then come back to see if this fits, order something new, I think I'm gonna probably just literally bring it home. You know, my garage is all nice and cleaned up now and the floors look good. I got plenty of lighting, so I think I'm gonna just take on the turbo setup my, myself and uh, assemble the rest of it my, on my own, man. So I think that's gonna be the, the game plan. So I think, you know, trying to jump overboard and just focus on the, uh, uh, the 6.4 build and knocking that out because I think that car is going to be one of those cars that sets the content and just changes the dynamic and brings a whole different audience to the channel. But yeah, man, with all that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. 
I still gotta edit tonight. I promised y'all all week I'm gonna be trying to drop videos. So it's damn near 12 o'clock right now. I'll probably be up to at least two for y'all, but I'm gonna get it done tonight. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. But until next time, thank y'all for watching and rocking with your boy. We out. <laughs> Speed limit 